Hello guys, in today's video we're going to discuss if should you train like Devon Larat. So we're going to take a look on what it is, how it works, principles from where this program came from, some pros, some cons and a little bit more. So let's start so what's his program throughout the day he does some high intensity singles i'm talking close to 95 percent of your one rep max and he does that for his pronation his rise two cupping exercises the high cup and the low cup and he throws a press in there then he does multiple rehab sessions where he does 50 to 100 uh, sets of the same exercise plus he adds a grip training that's more for conditioning and he does everyday table time so a little bit on what have was his training throughout his career so Devon always wanted and used the high volumetric approach which means he trains with a lot of sets a lower intensity building his base, muscle, and endurance. He trained every day, almost no rest. That's why he's so strong and has insane endurance. He doesn't train this muscle on this day and this muscle next day. He does everything and all the muscles one day every day for the rest of his life does this work yes and no should the average arm wrestler train like that again yes and no most should not train like that it has its purpose but only the singles because the rehab sessions don't matter that much they are useless in my opinion next where does his program came from so he you did uh, somehow evolved from the bulgarian method where every day you'll do three to four small sessions with high intensity never going till failure throughout the day heavy weights and it was said that out of 100 1 to 2 complete this only 2 at max come out of there and it said that they will become champions if they can sustain the abuse but it's not worth it in the long term that's because let's talk about the volumetric approach so and then after that we'll come into the other things so when you're far out from a competition we're talking six eight months out you want to do a ton of sets of let's say your pronation curls more reps lower in intensities more sets which the role of this is to build as much muscle as much tendon strength and things like that 
not focusing that much on strength we want to build a bigger engine to work with so that's when we're far out from a competition but as we get closer and closer to the tournament we want to cut the volume incrementally don't go cold turkey and go from 20 sets a week to three to four sets a week that's not how you do it it's much more trying oh microphone fell down let me place something good so that's not how it works it's mostly for losing muscle we wanna decrease slowly over time and get to higher intensities decreasing the reps building our coordination that's why Devon does the pronation with his wrist bent back the high cup the low cup the press the rise because it suits his style of pulling so you want to approach that thing now how does this program work so every day I prefer five days two days off it's better you give yourself a little bit of rest you'll choose five exercises you'll do them three times a day 90% of your run rep max and we're approaching failure because if you approach failure you need more to rest especially doing the Bulgarian method because it places a lot on toll on your neurological system and it will tax your recovery so you want to approach that now a lot of people say that no his program doesn't work he does multiple singles with very short ranges of motion we are talking about this much range of motion yes when you're out from a competition you don't want that to happen let me see if I can place it like this no I wanted to show you better good it's greater yeah. so when you're far out from a competition we want more range of motion but when you get closer you want to drive intensity and all things I said so Devon is being criticized for these short ranges of motion but you can't pick let's say you're three to four weeks out from a competition you can't pick with full range of motion no this dumps our coordination and in the long term yes it builds more muscle oh. but how much muscle can you build in three weeks let's be serious guys oh. good great so you want to take this approach only use this program for picking maximum use it for two months you can do it like that one because you might think that it suits him best but he he will train like the Georgians he will be three to four times better that's because the Georgians focus more on building muscle 
and things like that because that one only does the neurological picking yes neurological picking is very important but when you're very close to competition it works by making your brain and your CNS fire at maximum force you're like talking 80 to 90 percent of your muscle strength being extremely coordinated this will make you a very good arm wrestler yes so that's how you should use his program the rehab is bullshit just throw it yeah so let's say you approach the competition and your cup for you is the most important thing so you wanna sacrifice everything even your pronation just to get your cup just to get this and if you wanna do that then pick low cup or high cup multi spinner and do the singles that's because over time over the period of one to two weeks it will be shape that engine shape that mountain and it will mostly hold on and it will not bend back if you want to target your pronation or a rising because without a cup you can still give a pretty nice fight or even win 11 mostly top rolls like this with his wrist bent back or Todd Hutchins but that's not what we're going to discuss today so this short ranges of motion matter a lot because when you're in the honors table and drag just a little bit the match is coming towards you just by one inch this will make a huge difference that's because the singles combine with table time a lot of table time so that you feel comfortable on the table will just make you be in your best form so the short ranges of motion matter a lot because yeah as I said and let's take an example so we've got Devon versus Prudnik so in the third round Prudnik was in this position and he just prepared to get his wrist bent and go for the press for the flop press but Devon was very strong in that one inch and he took him outside of his shoulder and it turned into a very weird side pressure hold which ultimately led to his lose but yeah that's it for today's video always there are better ways to train not do the Bulgarian method if you're an unexperienced lifter next or maybe I don't know I will review the program because I'll do it my myself yeah, it destroys the arm but consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't do not lose more gains and that's it bye and see you in the next video